Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuoki Kyoto Wind, Yamazaki's Road. Let's go. It certainly is. From now on, this is our base of operations. Oopsies. I have to click on it first, apparently. Definitely plenty of space. Won't need to tiptoe around any nosy fools, either. Should make things easier. The stern look on Hijikata's face appeared to have vanished today. In fact, he looked to be in a pretty good mood. But his upbeat attitude was nothing next to Kondo's. Ah, that's right. You still haven't checked out the inside, have you, Yukimura? No, I haven't. That settles it, then. How about I show you around? Huh? But you must be really busy with setting things up. You don't have the time. I wasn't sure it was such a good idea, but his smile was so infectious, and he nearly danced from eagerness. I felt my resistance crumbling. Hijikata's eyes slid to the side to watch his chief. He grinned wryly and shrugged. Just let him take you around. It's not quite a castle, but every man dreams of being the head of a household like this. Kondo's dying to show it off to someone. Uh, okay, I'd be honored to have a tour, Kondo. Great, leave it to me. Hmm, where should we start? The kitchen and the baths are really spacious, and... Every new house came with a certain sense of anticipation, and this one was no different. It was with building excitement that I stepped inside after Kondo, my head swiveling from side to side to take everything in. So cute. It's like a little puppy going, I show you some, I show you my toy, my new toy. Anyway. <laughs> All right. First things first. I think I should show you where you'll be staying. This is my room? The new mats on the ground filled the room with a fresh scent, and the sunbeams that danced inside brought warmth and a sense of peace. The door design looked slightly fancier, too, as if they wanted to give me a little something extra. What do you think? Do you like it? Of course. I jumped to reassure him, and his smile widened when he realized I approved of their choice. But is all of this okay? I'm not a member, and yet you're letting me have such a grand room. Don't worry about that. We have so much space in headquarters now, and every warrior will have plenty of room. And with the formation of the Guardians of the Imperial Tomb, we even have some vacancies. Oh. For a brief moment, Kondo's happy expression faded into a somber one. I had a feeling that he was thinking about Heisuke and Saito right then. I knew I was. I opened my mouth to say something, but before I could, his face cleared and he continued speaking. Anyway, as I was saying, we have plenty of space here. Nishihan Wanji was big, but it wasn't a good place for a large number of warriors. Us being there was rough on them, and everyone else involved. But now we're in a situation where we have significantly more freedom. You're right. We had only been borrowing space at all of the previous locations, Yagi and Ishihan Wanji, and had to abide by the wishes of our sponsors. But now, I could only imagine the emotions swirling through Kondo with this new place. Now, where to next? <laughs> what other rooms are here? Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. This place has a fantastic training room. That is definitely our next destination. With a grin and jaunty bounce to his step, he began to walk off when suddenly he came to a halt, calling over his shoulder to me. Oh, would it be all right if we stopped somewhere on the way? <laughs> Curious, I followed him through the maze of hallways until we reached... Dot, dot, dot. Gotta hiccup. Why? Don't hiccup, please. Okay. This is... Okita's room? The interior looked a lot like mine, but there was... something. It was hard to explain, but the room felt like him, almost as if I could turn around and he'd be right behind me grinning. Yes, though it seems so Soji snuck off somewhere. Snuck, snuck, so many S's. Soji snuck somewhere. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I shouldn't be surprised. Another S. Oh my god, all these S's. Oh. <sighs> 
I keep telling him to stay put in his room. Ever since Okita fell ill, both Kondo and Hijikata had been keeping a closer eye on him, and often made time to see how he was doing. I realized that was why we had stopped in his room. Kondo was worried and wanted to mask it with a visit. You're a kind man, Kondo. You're always looking out for everyone. <laughs> now I'm a little embarrassed, but I admit, Soji is a special case for me. I've known him since he was nine years old and watched him grow into the man he is today. He's like a brother to me. His voice softened and warmed. A faraway look came into his eyes. His fondness for Okita was obvious to anyone who bothered to pay attention. When he caught me looking at him, a smile on my face, he scratched his cheek and turned slightly red, chuckling. <laughs> Whoops. If we stand around talking here, we'll never make it through the tour. Let's head to the training room. Okay. We made our way down a few more hallways until Kondo finally slid a large door open. Oh. The new training room was so spacious, one or two dozen warriors could easily train together, with plenty of room to move around. It's so big. I can't believe it. That's what she said. It's amazing, right? The wood floor beneath my feet felt cool. It would have been relaxing if the room hadn't already been full of frenetic energy. Huh. Looks like some of the men were impatient to get started. Impressive. Perhaps it was the new location, but a number of the warriors were eager to test the room's capabilities. Smack. The air was filled with the sound of bamboo sticks slapping each other, and the scuffle and stomp, I was going to say scomp, stomp of feet. One person in the crowd noticed us standing near the door. He separated himself from the group and approached. It's rare to see the two of you together. Are you getting a tour of our new headquarters? Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm having issues here. <laughs> Probably because I had soda today. <laughs> yes. Good afternoon, Inoue. How's training going? Or how goes training? Close enough. Same thing. <laughs> Practicing in a new location feels wonderful. What's even better is the fact that we'll be able to train rain or shine now. Oh, that's right. Everyone had to practice outside back at the temple. Suddenly, Inoue flipped his practice stick over and extended the hilt towards Kondo. How about it, Kondo? Go burn off some energy with the men. Hmm? I'd love to, but I'm showing Yukimura around right now. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about me. I'll wait over here and watch. I'll keep it short. Really? Okay then. I guess I'll take you up on your offer, Jen. I'll keep it short. No, you won't. Striding into the, th the throng. Wow, that is so hard to say. Striding into the throng of men, he was quickly surrounded by them as they all exchanged greetings. Before long, the training resumed. The intensity and difficulty exponentially increased now that their chief was among them. Five hours later, no, just kidding. <laughs> you did great, Kondo. You must be tired. Please sit and have some tea. Ah, oh, thank you. I lost track of time back there. Maybe it was five hours later, I don't know. He took a seat in the new common room, which was centrally located for easy access by all members. I'm sorry about that. I should have kept my focus. Then I could have given you a better tour. <laughs> it's all right. Today is only the first day we're living here. We can look around more any time we want. I giggled, and Kondo's lips, lips curled up into a smile. For a few moments, he sat quietly, savoring his tea. This is a good thing. This house we have. It's ours. We have a home to welcome everyone back. It's like another one of my dreams has come true. Another? Yes. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to become a samurai and use my blade to serve the emperor. He took a sip of his tea and quietly sighed. Aw, it's a cute little flashback. His face, t t his face was turned toward me, but his eyes were soft and unfocused, gazing into his memories. Memories of happier times. 
I didn't know much about the history Kondo and the other Shinsengumi ca- captains shared. Sometimes I'd catch one of the older men talk about the early days, and every time they'd wax nostalgic for the life they used to live. I don't know why that was so hard to say. What is the age difference between them and Okita? And is Kondo much older than the other ones, or what? I don't know. It's, I'd, I'd never really looked at their ages. I'd have to look that up or something. It made me sad that I'd only joined them recently and wasn't able to share in those happy, peaceful memories. As the son of a farmer, my childhood was full of people chiding me for picking up a sword. They would always mock me, laughing at my foolishness. But you proved them wrong. You fulfilled your dream of being a warrior, right? The Shinsengumi had done their utmost to do everything in their power to keep the city of Kyoto safe. As their chief, Kondo's efforts had been finally recognized, and he'd been granted increased responsibilities by the shogunate. Yes, I suppose that's true in a way. So, I want to be able to open a path for others like me, who dream the same dream. How? I want the Shinsengumi to be a place where anyone can become a samurai, regardless of their status, as long as they stay true to honoring their lord. Kondo. His feelings on the matter overwhelmed me. The Shinsengumi was the focus of all of his energy. He cared deeply for every member and every warrior who dreamed of the same thing he did. His bright smile faded. However, if that's our ultimate goal, it would not be fair to Shinpachi and Sanosuke. They left that life a long time ago because they hated it. When his lips twisted up wryly, I couldn't stop myself from speaking. I... what are we going to say? Uh, I'm sure they understand. Okay, here we go. Well, I guess it's more like I feel like they will. I had nothing to base my opinion on except gut feeling. But I wanted to find some way to get him to smile, so I plowed on in hopes that something I said would help. Knowing them, if they had wanted to quit, they would have done so a long time ago. But the fact that they're still here remains that this is what they wanted to do with their lives. They love the Shinsengumi and respect us. Or you. (laughs) I see. I hope you're right. He thought for a moment, then laughed. It sounded a little relieved. The pressure around my heart eased. The hours passed, and soon enough, night came. (sighs) I had finished my cleaning and was taking a moment to rest in my room. A brand new headquarters, a new room. Our headquarters had changed and expanded, matching the Shinsengumi's growth itself. But increasing in number is not always a good thing. The more people there were under one banner, the less likely all of them would hold the same beliefs and ideals. There would be differences and conflicting opinions, just like what happened with Ito and his men. But I didn't want the Shinsengumi to change. Kondo's dream sounded wonderful, and I could see it coming true because of the men that had surrounded him. With those thoughts in my head, my first night in the Fudodo headquarters slowly passed. Night-night. Okie dokie. Little faster, please. November 1867. Alright. I guess we're, we're a little over halfway done with Yamazaki's route, which means we're almost done with Hakuoki. Because I'm if you don't know, which I've said I think in three other videos, but I plan on taking a break with Hakuoki after Yamazaki's route because, like I said, I'm getting kind of bored of the Hakuoki boys and I want to move on to um, another game that's on Steam. So, yeah. I will come back to them. Don't worry. I don't know when. But I will because I do have Edo Blossoms, but we'll see. I don't know. You know, there's a lot more Otome games that have come out recently that I want to do and yeah we'll see about that anyway November 1867 a gust of wind stripped some of the last stubborn leaves from the trees and sent them skittering across the Kyoto street 
It was cold, and it bit into me through my clothes. I shivered. It's almost winter, isn't it? Yeah, the wind's gotten pretty cold lately. Still, we don't have it too bad during the day. I can't imagine how cold it gets for the night guys. He laughed as his breath turned like smoke. <sighs> my fingertips were icy cold, and I blew my breath on them. Are your hands cold? Would you like me to hold them? Oh, Harada. N no, I'm not that cold. I'll be fine. Oh. I'd noticed someone walking towards us. I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!